Military Vet 10. I'm here to show you where Zara is on December 29th, 2023. He's at Nessus up here, Watcher's Grave up on the tree area. He's got Xylogram, got 97 luxury shards. Skyburner's Oath, Scout Rifle. Orpheus Rig, Leg Armor for the Hunter class. Hollow Fire Heart Chest Armor for the Titan class. And Controverse Hold Gauntlets for the Warlock class. And the weapons he has for this week is Friction Fire Submachine Gun. And for this weapon, you want to have arrowhead break in your first column, accurized rounds in your second column, subsistence in your third column, rampage in your fourth column, and you want to range masterwork for the weapon. He's got the thoughtless sniper rifle. This is a craftable weapon to let you know. And for this weapon here, you want to have... Fluted barrel in your first column, accurized rounds in your second column, overflow in your third column, firing line in your fourth column, and that land tank will always be there. It will never, never change. And you want a reload speed masterwork for the weapon. He's got the no reprieve shotgun. Just to let you know, this is a craftable weapon. And for this weapon, you want to have Chamber Compensator in your first column, Assault Mag in your second column, Triple Tap in your third column, and you want Snapshot Sights in your fourth column, and that right hook in your fifth column will always be there at the same time. And you want to Range Masterwork for the weapon. He's got the Ignition Code Grenade Launcher. And in the first column, you want a hard launch. And in the second column, you want disorienting grenades. You want slide shot in the third column. And you want vorpal weapon in the fourth column. And you want a velocity masterwork for the weapon. He's got path of least resistance trace rifle. And this is a craftable weapon. Ambush is the best to get for this weapon. And for this weapon, you want to have Chamber Compensator in your first column, Enhanced Battery in your second column, Stats for All in your third column, Bolt Shot in your fourth column, and you want to have a Reload Speed Masterwork for the weapon. He's got Honor's Edge Sword. And what you want is Hungry Edge in your first column, Balance Guard in your second column, Relentless Strikes in your third column, and you want Surrounded in your fourth column, and it will always come with an Impact Masterwork for the weapon. He's got the Memory Interdict Grenade Launcher. And what you want for this weapon is Volatile Launch in your first column, Proximity Grenades in your second column, Impulse and Fire in your third column, and Chain Reaction in your fourth column, and you want Velocity Masterwork for the weapon. Lock Moon Hand Cannon. And for this weapon, you want to have Hammer Forge Rifling in your first column, while the Alloy Magazine will always be in the second column. Rangefinder in your third column and heavy grip in your fourth column. And here's this armor set for the Titan class. And it is the Lickkin armor set from season 14, Caesar of the Splicer. And here's what he has for his Warlock's armor set. Recovery 30, 21 intellect, 63 total stat for a chest armor. That's pretty good. And here 
here's what he has for his hunter's armor set. And that bad for grenade build, 20 resilience, 22 discipline, 62 total stat for their leg armor. And that is what Zer has for his Destiny 2 inventory for this week. And as always, have an awesome day.